apparently there's someone outside that she doesn't like right now. Hello everybody, it's Kristen here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing the I Dare You book tag and I was tagged by the lovely Sylvia K. I'm gonna link her channel down below so you can go check her out. So before I started filming this, I wanted to look up the I Dare You tag. I discovered that there's two different I Dare You book tags. I'm gonna do the one I was tagged in and I, I'm not even completely sure about the other one. But I mean, whatever, it doesn't matter. So there's three rules apparently on this. Um, I have the weirdest hair here. Like, why are you doing this? So the three rules are you must be honest, you must answer all the questions, and you must tag at least four people. So without further ado, let's get into the tag. So question number one, what book has been on your shelf the longest? The answer I have for this question is Charlotte's Web by uh, E.B. White. This is one I remember reading when I was younger. I'm not going to stack them here because, guys, that would just get too crazy because I actually have a lot of books to show. Question number two, what is your current read, your last read, and the book you'll read next? The book I'm currently reading right now is The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson. And can we please just say, this is the most spring book I have ever seen. And even the... <laughs> gosh even the dust jacket like look at that it is so spring <laughs> when I first um took off the dust jacket for this book can we just please enjoy the fact that inside is just major face and dog's nose so the book that I last read oh my gosh I can't even remember where did I put it but the book I finished last was graduates in wonderland by Jessica Pan and Rachel Kopelke Dale Oh my gosh. <laughs> I have a review on this book, so I will link that video down below. But yeah, this was a really good, entertaining read. The book that I plan on reading next is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. I am buddy reading this with Rita from Read a Book. So if you want to join us in May to read this book, uh, you are welcome to. Oh, don't fall. Okay, copy. Question number three. What book did everyone like but you hated? I have an answer for this one. That book is Graceling by Kristen Kishore. I read this book earlier this year and I did not think it was that good. I didn't think it was written well. Um, there was so much potential with it, but I just felt like it fell flat. If you're thinking about reading it, comment down below and I can chat to you what I thought about it and maybe you'll read it, maybe you won't, I don't know, but I'm happy to give my opinion on this if you want. Question number four, what book do you keep telling yourself you'll read but you probably won't? For this answer, I kind of kept it quite a broad answer and I said uh, classics. I am starting to read more classics and I'm really, really happy about that. Uh, earlier this year, I read Amy, uh, Amy, no, Emma. Earlier this year, I read Emma by Jane Austen, and I really, really like that. So there are classics I know I want to pick up and I know I'll enjoy, but then there's some classics that I just am like, I don't know if I'll ever get to you. Oh my gosh, I'm filming in the morning and the morning sun is just so hot. I have to open the window. Oh, and let some fresh air in. Sorry if I get sweat marks at all during this video. <sighs> I sweat. Um, ba, 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 ba. Question number five. What book are you saving for retirement? And again, I had to keep this pretty broad. I, there isn't one specific book that I'm going to be like, oh, that's I'm going to read that when I'm 60 or 70. Uh, I'm saying more so all kind of nonfiction or maybe history books. I absolutely love learning. I love going to school. I don't like the stress of school. I think I will really want to keep learning things and I think maybe like history books or nonfiction books, just something to learn and keep learning. That's when I'll leave it. Question number six, last page. Read it first or wait till the end? Oh my gosh, people, wait till the end. Why would you spoil it for yourself? I cannot do that. I am 100% page one, right till the end. Don't flip flop between the pages or the chapters. Uh, question number seven, acknowledgement. Waste of paper and ink or interesting aside. I put this as an interesting aside because I actually really like reading acknowledgements. I... Oh my gosh, I can't. I can't. 
All right, so Mabel really wanted to be in this shot, so I'm going to show her to you guys. So everyone, this is my puppy. This is Mabel. She is a miniature schnauzer. And um, I know she doesn't have the schnauzer cut except for the beard, but whatever. She's cute. Oh, I got some lipstick on her. But anyways, this is Mabel. Okay, don't bark anymore. Alrighty, where was I? Oh yeah, acknowledgement. Um, yeah, I actually really like reading acknowledgements. It gives you a little bit of an inside look on kind of the oh. author's process of writing and who was involved. I find it really interesting. Question number eight. Which book character would you switch places with? It's actually the book I'm currently reading, so that's The Unexpected Everything. I would love to trade places with Andy. Uh, one, because she's a dog walker, and that's awesome. And two, it is kind of a fun summer contemporary read. So you've got the romance, you've got the summer, you've got the ice cream. Question number nine. Do you have a book that reminds you of something specific in your life? I actually had a lot of books for this answer. So I'm going to try to limit it. Uh, so the first few books that I have is part of a series and that is the Hunger Games series. This has a very specific memory for me. When we were in South Africa, my sister had moved back to Canada before me. So this was kind of becoming big news um, where she was. And so she messaged us and she said, guys, you have to pick up the Hunger Games. So my parents bought the series and then we went on a vacation. My mom and me read these books together on vacation. Really good memories here. It was a great holiday. And, um, this was kind of the first young adult books that I really, uh, read. The other book I have for this is Prisoner of Tehran by Marina Namat. This book has uh, specific memories as well. Um, this is again when I was living in South Africa. My mom reads so many nonfiction, memoirs, all those types of books. She actually had gotten this book but she hadn't read it yet and I picked it up before her and I never picked up these types of books when I was in high school but I picked it up and I read it. It was so amazing. Um, and so I told my mom about it and then she picked it up right away and she loved it. Yeah, so specific memory for me. Question number 10. Name a book that you acquired in an interesting way. So I kind of get books really all over the place. But for this book, I am going to go with Life After Life by Kate Atkinson. This book I got through my church's garage sale. Generally, there's a lot of old books. Um, maybe kind of like the Reader's Digest bind-ups, like all that. And I never really picked those up. But... Last summer, this book was just kind of like in the pile and it was like bright white and I was like, ooh, what's that? I was super happy to see this. So I bought it for two bucks and it's in really, really good condition. So that to me was an interesting way of getting a book. If it's an inappropriate book, I will be like, what? Who was reading this book? Question number 11. That was 10 and one, if you can tell. I had a coffee in my hand, so. Have you ever given a book away for a special reason to a special person? Me answering this question is going to make me seem like a real big jerk, but I don't give books away. Very rarely do I give a book away. I don't have a lot of people around me that read, so even if I gave a book away, it wouldn't be read and I kind of feel like that would be a little bit of a waste. Question number 12, which book has been with you most places? This is a very, very special book to me because I've read it the most. And that is A Voice in the Wind by Francine Rivers. This is a part of a series called The Mark of the Lion series. Oh my gosh, this book has been with me so many places. It's been read by my whole family, except my dad, because he's not into historical fiction and romance and stuff like that. As you can see, like it's starting to like really pull the plastic on the edges. The pages are already like really darkened and stuff. So it's a very well-loved uh, book. This has been to the beach. This has been in different homes in Africa. This has been on a plane ride to Canada. Recommend. Question number 13. Any required reading you had in high school that wasn't so bad two years later? I have not reread any books I read for required reading. Question number 14. Used or brand new? Honestly, Either is fine with me. I think there's excitement in both sides. If I'm forced to choose an answer, I then would choose, maybe I would choose used. I don't think that would be a very common answer, but I think you can get a lot more books used than new. Question number 15. Have you ever read a Dan Brown book? Why is that a question? <laughs> Yes, I have. I have read one. I read The Da Vinci Code. Question number 16. 
Uh, have you ever seen a movie you liked more than the books? Mm -hmm. For that answer, I have The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings. As a fantasy lover, that might be a little shocking, but honestly, these books are long and they're detailed. I have read everything except The Return of the King. I still have this to read. My brother-in-law has the extended editions of The Lord of the Rings and um, they're just really, really good. Question number 17. Have you ever read a book that's made you hungry? Cookbooks included. This lovely book, The Book of Holiday Awesome by Neil Pesrisha. I don't know if you've ever heard of the Book of Awesome, but basically that book has just a collection of awesome things. This is the holiday version of it. Uh, so this is all holidays. You've got Thanksgiving, you've got Christmas, you've got Easter, um, all like tons of holidays. You know what goes with holidays, food. Question number 18. Who's, who's, who is the person whose book advice you'll always take? I've actually said this already, and that is my mom. My mom has been reading books her whole life. She's read so many books, and I trust her opinion 100%. Question number 19, the last question. Is there a book out of your comfort zone, so a book that is outside of your regular genres, uh, that you ended up loving? For this question, my answer is Calvin by Martina Prescott, I believe. This is a fictional story, but never in a million years would I see it on a shelf and pick it up. I first heard about it through a booktuber. Now I can't remember the name of the booktuber. I will try to find her and then link uh, the video. Basically the main character is named Calvin and he is schizophrenia and he believes he is the character Calvin from Calvin and Hobbes. I Oh man, I adore Calvin and Hobbes, the comic, so much. So when I heard that, I was like, I'm picking that book up. So I went to the library, looked it up, saw it, picked it up, took it home, read it, and absolutely loved it. I think I gave it five out of five stars. I would suggest reading it. So that is the I Dare You book tag. So I'm going to tag four people now. Rita from Rita Book. I tag Penny and Books. Three, I tag Sparky Loves Books. Or I tag Kelsey Lee Reads. And lastly, if you want to do this tag and you haven't been tagged, consider yourself officially tagged. Let me know when you do it and I'll come watch it. I have received one other tag, um, but that one required a little bit more thinking. So I want to make sure I put some good answers up. Give this video a big old thumbs up. Click subscribe if you want to, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!